Raymond, you, you can click on about, I think you see he, he need about five more minutes or something. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to call you right back in about five minutes. Uh, you, you, you can try it. I'm going to call you about five minutes, Raymond. Heads up, eyes open the fence. Okay. Okay, we yeah. Okay. Live and direct, y'all. We're making history, taking history, and taping history, trying to figure out one little thing so we can make this thing happen. Uh, I'm not a lot of can't start a live video. Please check your internet. Okay, I've had a lot of problems lately. Technical, political. I think it's political contradictions. I want to say it was said. This is crazy. Wi Fi. Okay. I think, we, I think we I think we good to go on these oh something to put this stand up on. Uh this will do I think we're gonna make this happen. Uh whew. we working on getting their things professionally set up so I keep on going through this stuff, y'all. It's a process. Um I don't wanna mess with nothing over there. That's his office over there, Mr. Give me a. Uh... Two notebooks and then. Uh... What is this right here? That's it right there. there. It's a suit there right there. Yep, yep. Okay, flip back around. There. There you go. Okay. All right, y'all. Heads up, eyes open, the fist clinch. Y'all know this. Y'all, y'all know this. How we do this? Let's get locked and loaded for another episode of Free Am Radio here, Intellectual Radio. Call in number. You may can't do the call in. Oh no. We, oh, matter of fact, give us a few minutes. You can call in the nine two nine four seven seven three seven eight five and press one to click in, y'all. In the spirit of making history, taking history, taping history, y'all. Y'all, y'all. Again, I'm self-critical. I try to do no commercials for this thing, for this coffee, but I got, I, I got to. Grab a little shot real quick. I've been moving and grooving nonstop. We got a number of few uh, hot topics that we got to get straight to. Um, talking about case of Dexter Reed, uh, 26 years old, uh, from the west side of Chicago. I believe March 21st, March 21st, um, what kind of brings it back to light is the fact that uh, yesterday, um, which would be April the 10th, they released uh, the, the um, COPA Civilian of Police Account Accountability. It's kind of it just for those outside the Chicago area, it's kind of like a, as after a lot of struggles and contradictions in regards to um, before IPRA, IPRA was in the uh, police review organization. I'm not, I'm not getting acronyms mixed up, but prior to then, before that, you had uh, these different uh, entities that were put in place to be checks and balances in regards to Chicago police. And the initial one, uh, got the name this initial one, this gives the background. The initial case, the initial, the initial name for this entity, I can't remember, um, oh, it's on to my tongue. Um, Oh, it'll come to me in one minute. But the initial, as a matter of fact, I don't know what type of listeners, listeners we have. If y'all can go back and check, um, let me know if y'all can, can, can you hear me? Yeah, let me know if y'all can hear me over here. I know I have some issues over here. Let me know if you're uh, live on YouTube. If you, if you hear me on live on YouTube, y'all can hear me? If I can hear me? Um, okay, right on, right on. Thank you, Lionel's name, right on. The initial name 
and check this out if y'all can what before before COPA, which is community of the office of police accountability. I know I'm getting acronym kind of twisted. And prior to IPRA, and prior to that, the uh the, this I forgot the name of this, but this was in response, uh, I think it was late 70s. Um and I think it was what's his name? He was an alderman. He uh, actually he ran in the Olympics also with, Je with uh, Jesse Owens. Speaking of Jesse Owens, they just made his house uh, in Ohio, the house he did in a landmark site in Ohio. But this individual I'm trying to think of right now, he, he ran in the Olympics with, um, with Jesse Owens. He was an alderman in Chicago. And when his son was beat, not, I, I, I don't know, it wasn't murder, when his son was beat by the Chicago police. That's when this kind of does acknowledge about the need, you know what I'm saying? And this, uh, for this, um, oh, was OPS, maybe OPS, and one office of professional standards, and whatever it was, is this dynamic was put in place to let you have any complaints about the, about the Chicago police, you, you know, what I'm saying contact them, so on and so forth. And I'm pointing this out to touch on something I want to touch on in regards to the particular the class contradiction, the class contradiction, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna touch on that. Bear with me, I'm gonna have to make a call to see if we be able to click in online or uh, live also. For a moment, let me click on the track. Okay, we'll try to make sure we're on the blog talk also. And while we're doing that. While we doing that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see we uh, so we get the blog talk audience involved also. I'm trying to put stuff in context, history, because I I'm gonna talk about some things today, because a lot of times, most cases, people have an, uh, a subjective or reactionary assessment of history, how, you know how things happen, and uh, so you're right. Civilian Office of Police Accountability, that's COPA. Let's get this. Okay, right on. Okay, line free them all. Are we on yet? Matt Cal, right on, Carbon. Right on. Okay, I'll check back with you in a few minutes. Um, uh, we check with in a few minutes. Free them all. Matt Cal, exactly. Ralph uh, Matt Cal, right on, Carbon. His his son, and I want to. I'm, I'm trying to give like a historical context because a lot of times these are necessary dynamics that have to happen. So I want to touch on the subject. I got a brother here with me today, a phenomenal artist. You know what I'm saying? He had this piece from the late great uh, Chadwick Bozeman. You know what I'm saying? He does, he does and this, he has a unique, unique dynamic he does with art. Uh, he references as a rug artist. And uh, this is a gift for uh, my nephew, brother Ryan Kugler. And we're going to, this triggers some conversation I heard earlier about some stuff, you know what I'm saying? And like some, some criticism. That I was raised in regards to these young brothers, and, 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 and I don't want to talk about this in an objective way, because a lot of time, I, last three, four nights I've been going to have some some conversations that's been kind of they say in church troubling your soul. It's I tell people a lot of times my last name happens to be Hampton, not Houdini, not Houdini, and we talk about struggle. I want to, you know, what I'm saying I'm talking about not even struggle, history. It's a battle. A lot of times people see the end results and the, whether it be someone's, you know, coming in, they in shape. A lot of people just have a react, most of them, uh, this right is a reactionary period. There are different dynamics that play a role, you know, it's a dialectical materialism, a philosophical tool that we relate to. Again, dialectical materialism, in lamest terms, it acknowledges one of the characteristics of dialectical materialism, that things are, things are constantly being born and growing as well as dying and disintegrating. There are conversations now that we can have about the music industry today that could not have been had three weeks ago. In fact, in fact bro, I remember some struggles I had with the brother we talked about earlier. And it was this naiveness about, naivety about the music industry. I couldn't believe it. Now certain things now, you know what I'm saying? Cause see, I never, I never subscribed to the school of thought that if you talented, you make it in the music industry. I never subscribed to the thought that you don't say you work hard, you make it. I never, I never, I never joined that snake oil. Never did. I never, I never subscribed to capitalism. Those who work, you know, so they're successful, so on and so forth. I subscribe to a politic 
that you know what I'm saying that that, 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 that puts that takes into account a colonized community, a colonized people. Now, the, 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 a col let's say colonized. We say colonized. Your ideas, your definitions of beauty, your work ethic. In fact, in Nazi Germany, at the gas chamber, they said one. Oh, I think it was it was uh, Auschwitz or um, um, Dachau. Which particular gas chamber? Going into the gas chamber, over the top. It said, "Continue to get work to get an education. Work hard." Going into the gas chamber. Still selling this dynamic, going into the gas chamber. You know, and many people still sit into the, I mean, up into that, that that moment. There's other ways that you can make it, as opposed to coming to grips. That this is the, 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 the man. This was uh, 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 the that, that in the words of uh, the then Führer of Nazi Germany, Adolf Hitler, who he had was the final solution. What he referred to as the final solution. There's a meme going around on social media that the Palestinian community has put forward. It's an a, it's a, it's a, a axiom. Well, they're saying Israel does not want peace. It wants Palestine. That, that's a, that's what they And many times people can be, you know, people can be, and, and that clarity, that comes to that clarity. Of acknowledging it can be how you, you know what I'm saying it can be defeated defeatism it could be demoralizing say whoa wait a minute we here for something else in a relationship with someone say well wait a minute this person is not here to betterment the household or, you know what I'm saying it's, you might just reassess okay well this is how we gonna deal with that what's the why are we here I don't like, even I talk, I talk about such or, or revolution or that's the Black Panther Party I don't romanticize that everybody came for freedom. There were those who came for relationships, those who came for, you know, to get back at the police or issues, whatever the case may be. But there was a party line. This is, this is the agenda here. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and people can be transient or come in, in and out, whatever the case may be. But the deal is a party line, a structure that checked it. There was a, a time period, a time period that helped also play the role with that, a revolutionary period. That's what we use different terms. There are certain things, and the deal is, and being colonized, you know what I'm saying? And I, 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 I don't want to step back to the, we, the most, most, a lot of us when we not, we colonized. Because, see, being oppressed is embarrassing. Most people tell you that they, it's a piece with Chairman Fred was in the mock trial in court. And he said, Do you think you're free? He had the mock trial. That right there alone, that initial, and I'm seeing some people pop in who I'm having some flashbacks on some struggles we had. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm flashbacking on it. To get to that point, of acknowledging, how do you do you defend? Do you see us as being free? That right, that, that how you. The, the, then the next step is what Lenin. Lenin said, "We define. We see situations on how you view the state and how the state views you. When you have a a race or a class arrogance." It's the world revolves around you. You know, initially the, the, the school of thought you know what I'm saying was that the world was flat. A lot of people you actually say it's an old axiom to say if a tree falls in the forest and you don't hear the tree, does it make a noise? Most people say no, because I didn't hear it. Brother just tapped in a minute ago. I just met another night. He said, when I walked in the room in, in, in the venue, he said, he told me, he said, man, that dude walked like a he said, he like one, he like a, a black panther. And then, not to put you on, not put you on spot, brother, you know what I'm saying? Then they would tell us, say, man, hold on. When I came in, I'll be, they just stopped me at the door, or whatever, you know, they said, hold on, this is my man, Chairman Fred, you know. So it came in. So, no, no, they said, this my man, scratch that. It was an object. See, it's an object. I just left the stuff in here some coffee. The brother came and said, man, we got your back. We're watching you, man. You know what I'm saying? Now we go, now no subjective, like, we, 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 what you represent. And so I say, uh, he was the brother was telling me good intention. We should do this, we should do that, we could do blah. And it was kind of humorous at first to me. Then it was kind of insulting. I said, man, do a little re do a little background research on me, on us. Cause I tell you, I hate to talk to new people. They say, check like what people, I said, because a lot of people think it's the first time the police have murdered someone. And you know what I'm saying? And as opposed to wait a minute, we have a template, we have the skeleton, we have the brain, we have the heart. We welcome new, 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 new blood to come in, you know what I'm saying? But the deal is to come in and not, you know what I'm saying, it's a, to not acknowledge that this, that stuff has been happening. Trees have been falling. Trees have been getting cut down. Trees have been chopped down. 
prior to you coming around. And, it, and that's why I was saying one of our one of our mantras of our organization is we are the great grandchildren of God, the offspring of Malcolm and the Cubs of Panthers. Great grandchildren of God. Who is God? Marcus Mosai God. Malcolm X, aka Alonzo Smith, Yosha Bass. And the Black Panther Party, and people say, and I, a lot of people say, well, it's easy to say blame the vanguard for certain dynamics. The reason why I opened up to my last name is Hampton, not Houdini. Because of something that a lot of times, you know, the one thing the Black Panther Party, as well as the Black Panther Party Cubs, won't get the credit for what we do, but we'll get the blame for any mishaps. Kind of like the Tony Montana in the scholar face when we say, y'all need me. Negating that there are different ingredients that have played a role in individuals' lives, so on and so forth, before they before that encounter. You did? And a lot of people, people, people they, they want a microwave meal. On today's flyer, y'all, we talking about the case of Dexter Reed. The police acknowledged there was acknowledged that 90, 96 shots were fired. And there's people saying they're debating back and forth the discussion about, well, was he armed? Was it a gun in the car? Did he stop? I would go far as to say is I would say this. Every context, every, every I mean, to put it in context, every action, it's important to say who wouldn't win, the, how the colonized people see the police, how you react, how you, how the police see you. And we have to be honest about this. This and, and, and the state does, they say like it's an average, it's a, I think they say the average educational, I think maybe in seventh grade or something, when they pick jurors for courtroom, there's a certain prototype they, prototype they look for. It's a certain psychological profile they look for. And the deal is, you cannot negate people's experiences. You get, I've been in rooms across the world. I come in through the door and I say, man, that's, you know, say, this is this person. This is psychological. I, my, my life depends on it. And it's not that trivial as just saying uh, Capricorns, Virgo. The political analysis taking into account where you at, what period you grew up. You know what I'm saying? There's this generation now, their their concept of hearing glow, you know what I'm saying, Glorilla, Nicki Minaj is a that is impacts them. I was telling someone, I said, man, you have to look at Lil' Kim a different way. The, the damage, the coming at that, the, the put in context. The, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 it, the, see, not that you take people, some people take it for granted, including myself at a certain period of my life. You know what I'm saying? How we view race, how you view yourself. They say the most difficult horse to raise is an orphan horse. That's the most difficult horse to raise. When you, I tell people, when you drive, you take for when you meet people, you take for granted they come from a structure. They come, you know, so they seen leadership. They seen men. They seen women. One of the most phenomenal quotes I in my life is some guys I deal with. One of them, they was having a debate one time. And one guy said, man, when I be protesting that group, he said, he said, one guy say, I be saying this about the women to get at them. He said, well, I watched you. You really have a disdain for black women. He said, you ain't never had no black woman. And the guy said, man, you crazy. I got eight kids. Now, the conversation would have been ended with the average person. Because the average cat, so reactionary, they think that you got eight kids. That means that they got to have, they come from mothers. Yeah. So you so you say certain things, you can say, well, this is the guy, he's he's a crip. This is the, he's not. Automatically, you think reaction is absolute. This can't get to be a blood. No, no, there are other options in life. That said, he said, Man, I know all your kids' mama. Again, you ain't never had no black woman. And that's the reality. That's the reality, especially in the, and not only, I won't say especially in colonized community. There might be certain physical abilities that you can do, whether you reproduce, we don't say do certain things, you mean, and even now. You know say a person, a, a child is a child, uh, they may be in Liberia, a soldier. You say, man, they, they, that person, gun this person, this is a child, though. you know what I'm saying? The brain, that, 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 I mean, science, the vortex, the brain, it develops in a certain period. There are certain decisions they can I don't care what well, this person got this person this, they know this and that. Man, there are certain realities. I remember this guy. We dealing with a situation. Matter of fact, I'm gonna throw this out to y'all. Make sure y'all need, need everybody heads up to Friday. I need everybody, we need some 12, I need people 11, 40, 11 45 a.m. Friday to meet us by ground zero. Now, 
I be going. I don't even know what that is. They don't even know what that is. It comes to time with certain length you can pick up on it. You know what I'm saying? Ground Zero, for those who don't know, is 2337 West Chairman Fred Hathaway, with Chairman Fred depicting the Mar clock was assassinated at. Certain tasks are stopped, certain moves are stopped, drop, and roll. Now, it's some stuff that's going to be exposed this Friday. That we doing, we need, we need all the people we can. And a lot of people come and say, Oh, I didn't know, I didn't get the fly, I didn't do this. Law enforcement goes and shoot up Chairman Fred Tombstone every year in Haynesville, Louisiana. Every year, like clockwork. They don't need no flyers. They don't need no reminder. If a fight, a boxing match come on, automatically you know who has to go to to watch it. And we got to stop dressing this up. You know what I'm saying? Well, this person don't know, so did this here. During that revolutionary period I just spoke of, it was a climate where a Chinese girl had a 45 of her father's, uh, her father's head on the front of a Time Night Life magazine. Malcolm X talked about it. He said, why are you doing it? She said, he betrayed the revolution. It was a climate when people still said, mom and dad, I love you, but I'm not going, I'm not up with that. It was a climate where you're, that you're saying you're, you, you didn't have relationships where people understood and grasped you were talking about. It wasn't no just sneaking in the room and no see. It was called a revolutionary period. It was not defined on how many men you killed, how many women you, you that you put in bed, lay down in bed with. It was a, it was di a different, healthy type of conversation. How many, how many, man, we've how many children you fed the free breakfast program? Chairman Fred said the best dressed brother wore a leather jacket in forty five. A lot of people have not had, never had that in their DNA. They did a lineage. They did a lineage on Sean Puffy Combs. They can. There was no lineage of, 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 of slavery. None. None. They not shooting the dice. When you breed dog breeders, they go check the bloodline of dogs. You can't tell a dog. You can't come and say, "Man, you." They have they call the uh, 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 game dogs. The dogs they they was fighting. You know what I'm saying? You can't bring no dog over there to them and then tell them, "Well, man, come on, man, that dog, man, he young. You don't, you know, you know." They gonna say his bloodline. They gonna tell you it's not in him. Me and one of my comrades had a struggle one time. I said, don't put my dog around that dog. He said, well, that's a game dog. It's in him. I can see it in him. This is a science of dogs. There's a science to struggle. Chairman Fred said, revolution is a scientific art that must be perfected. And motherfuckers got to stop playing games with it. It's not a joke. It's not a motherfucking joke. It's not what you want. It's a brutal reality. It's not in your books and your, your words. And you, it's not pretty. It's not, it's, it's not documented. It's not laid. It's not your pick and choose who you want. It heightens contradictions. It brings out ugliness in your families. Your, so your friend, it redefines who has courage and who is a coward. It exposes you. It exposes you. You learn about yourself. What were you attracted to? What did you believe in? What did you subscribe to? What did this, this person did, did, did scam you? What did you attract to? What did you walk, what all day did you walk past? Who did you fund? Who did you not fund? And Andy got to be up. Revolutionary period, if nothing else. You come out of motherfucking clarity. I'd rather be taken out with a clarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to quote unquote living, or better yet, existing in confusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'd be saying, well, man, Chairman Fred, 21 years old, he could have lived longer. I see that, man, the motherfucking. Dignity of a fucking clarity that the most powerful entity in the world, not the state, not the city, not the country, the most powerful entity in the world marked you for death. I did, you brought the puss out of the sword, climb when the emperor had no clothes on. Well, even the Chicago police carried your body out and said, Chairman Fred is dead. Well, they went and got your jail photo and wrote this uh, rehabilitated deceased on it. 
where they make trips down to your graveyard and shoot your tombstone up every day. Man, shit. Shit. Every day they killing us. Directly and directly. Shooting you down, stringing you out, punking you out, puff diddy you out. One way or another. One way or another. But that clarity, and it must be something to that clarity. Because it's constantly an attempt to confuse the question, the hijacking. You don't say it that way. Say this. Well, no, why, why is there, why does the ruling class take a position against the raw reality? Look at the look at the type of people that are produced that at least is out what's going on. Look at them. Look at the conversations they can have. Look at they can look at their, their dead in a different way. They say, yeah. He's dead, they're, they're dead. And, and look at your how your mind gotta be on a, 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 a swivel all the time. You got you gotta switch, you got like a it's like when, when they ask a child was they molested. You got the child is looking for the, the snicker bar, the candy, like okay, what how do, what do I say? They, children, that's how children operate. You a child say, okay, the child will know what do you what answer do you want from me? It's like when they had them talk shows, Jay Lemon had them talk shows, and they go out at night and they talk to people in the community. They say, what you thought you they not, they saying that no, what do you want me to say? That's what them, that's that you're trained. Now we don't want the truth, you know it. What do I suppose to say? And your and at your man. Whereas ghetto boys playing tricks on you, you 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 have no constitution, no backbone, and that may suffice for you as an individual, but then you start dealing with other circumstances, like children, your different relationships. No, you so you this this you saying that this is a a a, a table, or this is the blood of Jesus. It, it makes a fight for you, but at some point. When you just, it doesn't, it falls flat. They have what you call prison politics, because let's go poor people politics. I'm in a situation. I'm coming in from New York, I'm speaking at Ralph Pointers. For, excuse me, I had just before that Los Angeles at the NWCP Image Award. I'm stealing my man, my uniform hat at a black tie event. Goddamn right. I'm chairman, motherfucking Fred. I'm chairman, motherfucker. You got damn right. At the NAACP image war, ain't no motherfucking twisting around. I get a okay. This I'm you know, I'm chairman Fred Hampton. Jr. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get, Tupac when he went to he had, he got his bandana. On, his who he is, the core of him. To be able to go in different arenas and maintain who he is. I lead out. Get a call. Get go to New York for Ralph Pointers. Still, I'm sticking and moving. Ain't no switching jerseys. Ain't no, okay, well, man, I, I, okay, I believe this, then believe that now. You know what I'm saying? Now, there may be certain conversations that I may not have in certain arenas, but you know what I'm saying? Well, politics is not only what's said, but what's not said. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is still a clarity. Because you know who I know who consisted on my ass? The state. You did? Free my comrade? Yes, indeed. Right on. They they can see. I'm going to give you a test situation in Centralia. We call it Clan Trail. I come in. The, I come in the unit because they, they get different units. One of the guards, he's what they call horse playing with, with, with a few of the guys. They when I walk in, he back up. The young brother said, "Why you stop?" He said, "We don't do that around here." I'm gonna make sure I see my call in. Let me see the uh, the blog talk. Right? I'm gonna follow the on phone. We ain't gonna do blog talk. We gonna stick. We gonna roll like this here. He said, "No, we don't do that around here." He said, what you mean? He said, we don't play, we don't play like that around him. He said, what? He said, he is what you would, he is what is classified as max material. He said, what? I say, what? He said, yeah. He said, let me show you. He looked around to make sure there were no lieutenants or captains around. Structure. Structure. He's gonna still do it. He gonna, it's a structure. He pulled out what they call as your prison jacket. Pull it out. Max material. That basically meant wherever they send me to, minimum, medium, or maximum, there's still a constitution of who I am. Now, with some guys who in the max, they would abide by max rules 
They wouldn't be engaged in no raping. They wouldn't do no snitching. You know what I'm saying? Because the, you say, how the old axiom goes, when they're wrong, do the Romans do. I'm not cut from that motherfucking cloth. I'm still hollering at Hannibal and fucking death. Yeah. Even though your movies would take me, it would take him out of it. Even though your, you know what I'm saying, would say that would tell me the elephants did this and car, it wasn't no more. I I have been fortunate to know about a bloodline of a cat that come from another motherfucker who was a war tactician, who got a brother who was in his DNA, who was so strategic. When he went through the Alps, he would wait to Rome, put their foot in certain motherfuckers' asses. He said, okay, now y'all, he'll grab him at that right time. Now, you just can't tell me, well, his soldiers was fooling around white women. It's not that simplistic. You can't minimize him. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm on with dialectical materialism. See, yeah, talk, talk to people like people. What you saying, chairman? Yes or no? Democrat, Republican. Right or left? Cream of blood. You can't, you, see, you can't pull them state's attorney's questions on a motherfucker like this here. Not on with this path of politics. You, can, you can't do it. Those are state's attorney's questions. They, well, sir, were you there at 2 o'clock or not? Yes yes or no? Those are state's attorney's questions. See what I'm saying? See, the colonized community, our conditions are too complex for that shit. Yeah. You can't see you fitting people into situ in the boxes of people who have been, who go through every dynamic from foster homes to orphanages to just the crack cocaine. And not only that, a non-acknowledged war. See, to just acknowledge it, it gives you a, clear, a sanity, a clarity. You know what I'm saying? Even if you say, man, listen, this is, we're trying to figure out. Imagine, imagine they told you in Nazi Germany, gas, well, listen, the air conditioner is just bad. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine the mindset of that. Imagine the mindset. In Nazi Germany, it is considered child abuse if you don't tell your child what happened. Yeah. In our community, it's considered child abuse if you do tell them what the fuck happened to us. Yeah. Look at, see, and when we do have a discussion about anything, it's to, when the ruling class, okay, now you can have it but under these rules. We're going to edit this. You know, and we're going to regulate it. You can talk about the situation, about the music industry in a gossipy uh, love and hip hop sort of subjective way. Well, this nigga did this. This nigga did that. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Start correlating this to the history of entertainment. Don't you dare connect your your contradictions to the history of another people. How don't you dare say talk about how Rome had a special gang, a galley, a galley where you know what I'm saying where they run entertainers through. Don't you dare talk about vaudeville. Don't you dare talk about the history of Hollywood. Don't you dare talk about the, the wood the, the magicians use comes from a tree called a holly tree and it's done to trick you. Don't you dare, how dare you take that take, take your black ass and connect it to any, to any significant period of history, good, bad, or indifferent. What we, 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 you can have as we get through using this motherfucker that we created, you can take, you can say, you can use them, you, you can use them for all your issues. You can that's how you release. Say give you a release every once in a while. And you want to play a taste of New Orleans, okay, Congo Square, go down there, play the music, and enjoy yourself for a minute. Release, because I know it's, 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 it's painful for y'all. Don't, don't, don't you dare, don't you dare go that far. You limit it. Oh, watch yourself now. Don't you don't know that Clyde Dave? Uh-uh. Well, I, I just was thinking, how I, I can't see this talentless. You know, so who backed them? Who, you know what I'm saying? They, who get, don't you think that far? I'm giving you a release. Don't you dare. You say, well, well, the Black Panther Party, they just, you know what I'm saying, faded away and block. You leave it at that. Don't you dare talk about the federal government having a motherfucker in a room in the penthouse with Minister U.E.P. News said whose job was just to what tap his afterthoughts. Don't you dare talk about the FBI file on Fred Hampton at 13, 14, 14 years old. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Why not? Because once you start making this connection, if some of you motherfuckers start thinking like, wait a minute, who is these motherfuckers? They, they, they got, I got to be targeted like this here. And if you do tell a story on your, some of your greats, it got to be through some great white hope. You got to put that, you got to put that in there. Because there's no way possible that you've done this on your own. Now, when the, the shit fucked up, 
When I'm telling you music history, I'm going to show you who took you as a tutor. To I need you to go back and you know saying train other pups. Dog, listen, you can't bark on your own. You got to get a trainer. You got to get the live coins. You got to get a, a nice trainer. Well, just for the funding. No, not just for the funding. Well, that person ain't no good singer. I, listen, man, this is how this go historically. You got to get at. Well, who was the mother dogs stand up on their own motherfucker on their own? They ain't, I don't see them in the kennel. They, but even when they're in the kennel, they bark different. This is a different bark. Oh, they on some other shit. Some shit they talk about. They some shit about self determination. They don't get to eat like we eat. They don't get to wear the jewelry. They don't get to, they don't get the slave chains we get. Masters don't acknowledge them. See, we got. Listen, you want to be over here with us? These are your dog papers. Well, I don't need dog papers. I, I mean, you. I know who you are. You know, there's a definition for a German Shepherd, right? And you know, what I'm saying, I look at, the, I look at the, the, the physical aspect. I can no, the master has not approved on the seal of approval on you. Well, do we do we need it at the dog show? No, you need that. So in your relationships, most you know, what I'm saying most dogs, you want to go breed. You have to breed with another dog. You know, what I'm saying they gonna, they got to tell. Well, you 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 can't you. You, you, your natural instincts are not good enough to see that this dog is in heat. That you can't, you don't do that on your master has to give you the green light. Well, what about them other dogs? See, on they, when they, on their own, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand, I'm, man. I done seen the, I done seen the, the offspring of them. I done, look at that puppy, look, that motherfucker Puck. How you, man? man look, where the fuck he come from? Look how he, on the, it's certain dynamics in him. How you, how you connect with a community? How you want it to be? What? It, why is that? Why you want to ride with the herds? Is why like the like a wolf or something? He ain't been tamed to train like 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 you. What was happening? Well, see, those you know, what I'm saying they haven't had their um, vaccinations. They haven't, been, you know, what I'm saying they haven't been trained well. You know what I'm saying? And they and and they're gonna be attacked. They're not gonna be able to come in the house and eat this type of food. You know what I'm saying? But when that dog barks, he sounds more eloquent. You know what I'm saying the stuff he's that dog, it it impacts other dogs. I when I hear him, I hear I hear, the, I hear wolves, and he's able to and over. I mean, all over the world, it translate. It's authentic. This pedicured, puffy poodle that you want that you want that you keep on parading around me with this Clive Davis collar. It just don't fit me. No disrespect to you. If it's your, if it, so be it. That's that fits you. So be it. So be it. I sympathize for you. That you know, since you maybe you come from a, a lineage of coming up in kennels. I'm cut from a different motherfucking cloth, and we're going to fight to acknowledge it and maintain this for future generations. And no, we don't get to eat as much or as often as your train pool. We don't get to go on the great adventures of your puffy cones and the likes. But I also seen what they do to y'all when they get through with the puppy meal. Yeah. Oh, historically. 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 It's kind of like the movie The Mac. The bottom broad. Yeah, yeah, I ain't finna water this shit down. The main motherfucker. When that white girl came around, Goldie doing his thing, the bottom broad said, man, what the fuck? She said, Goldie, I met, this me. He said, I don't give no fuck about you. See, capitalism is incapable of caring about you. Breaking news. I'm, I'm man, between us, between us. It's incapable. And you, man, ask the Bill Cosby's and the likes, you can do all you can for it, man. Real talk. See, not saying capable. I know a lot of people flatter themselves. Well, once I talk to it, once I do this, do, you know what I'm saying? Negate all the past history. See, you're going to pick cotton different out of Master's ass. You know what I'm saying? It's going to do an appeal. It's a different dynamic. You're going to, you're not going to take into account history. You're going to say, you're going to take every little commonality. What is, well, we, this, this, this happened. 
Massa takes into account when they go through different dynamics. Why you think they? Why you think the Mormons get all them slave documents? Why you want? You think they just they just it's a fetish to see who fucking who? They study bloodlines. Yeah. They know potential for you know your own potential. Go back and look. They tell you when Pac was a shorty. I can as a youngster. Yeah. I know you've been told you've been sold this this dream where they these different artists pop up and they just pick me out the blue. What? It's called a psychological profile. It's kind of like you be at the club, guy yeah, brothers. Last call, that call. Some triggers in your mind. Last call, that call. Man, I gotta be what the it's, it's over with club over with. It's a certain dynamic that you can do. She said, man, hold on. Who, who, oh, the, oh, bing, bing, bing. Oh, man, man, psychological profile. Man, zone in. No, re retreat. Retire. Bing, bing, bing. How to link in. They can, it's a movie called Pimps Up, Holes Down, where the guy say he can ride through an area and look in the motherfucker eyes on who to try and who not the motherfucking try. Yeah. That's a luxury that the ruling class has. The colonized community was in especially was hurting about it. A lot of times we got deal, we got deal with the fuck we got to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. It was a cat in the party. Ah, oh, I don't see why this person did it. See, it's embarrassing. See, when you oppressed, you know, like you go in your when you in your, in your, in your mama's kitchen, like, why are you cooking with this? Why you, why you put milk in the eggs? And it's humbling to her that you it's, it's, it's hurting her. She's like, man, I'm trying to feed you and the rest of these motherfuckers. She's like, you know what I'm saying? And it's humbling that you the, the end so that you do a little research. You look at certain dynamics and people say, man, why this person with them when you or what you gotta work with? And we we make jokes about it to make light of it. You they, say, they got a meme with a butter knife that say every black community had this in their house for a for a screwdriver. But a knife. It's not just because of economics, it's political. It's certain, it's everything down to tools, it's certain things that don't they don't even sell it, they don't even sell in our community. Crazy as that sound. Certain things are not even outfitted for certain. When I say outfitted or capable, is listen, man. It's like they had a, a, the, the digestive system of the pig. There is certain things the pig is able and can and is not able to do. I'm talking about the Aquarius pigs, the Virgo pigs, the, the, the Taurus pig, a pig. Yeah, it's certain things. It's certain, it's in the poisonous states bite it. Its body is constructed a certain way that fitness that's conducive with its climate. Yeah. When I was in Africa, the brother said, he said, man, the turbo fish is a good fish, but my palate does not agree with it because being I'm from the Congo, the Ghanaians relate to it. Deeper than that, you have to type to who is who you colonize by impacts your palate, what you eat. I was in the coffee place, a coffee shop one time. I said, Whoa, I never heard. I said, Vietnamese coffee. I would like to try that. She said, Oh, yes. Uh, it's French influenced. I said, What? She said, It's French influenced. I said, That's a nice way of saying that shit. French influenced. That's some like British inspired. Portuguese impacted? Because you dare not say the brutal reality of the fact that in Brazil, my counterparts dance to the drum more than me. Not because the sun just just there on more of the time. The Portuguese did not outlaw the drum like North America did. Chicago, pride ourselves. Organization, structure, all that. It's not something that just popped up on this motherfucking home. You are impacted by what plantation you on. We are impacted by the dailies, the Capones and the likes. Chicago is the top segregated city in the country. Certain places you can see is an anti-structure. It's transient. Things are constantly moving. And see, a culture, to acknowledge that, there's different culture. You couldn't feed this nonsense they feed our community. Let's listen, listen, listen to the stuff that people that, that say it. 
Well, the, mo the woman can raise a son. All, uh, all, th listen to the stuff. That, listen to the listen to the this, the the dynamics that sold to us. Situation, true story. Yesterday, true story. Yesterday, yesterday, I said yesterday. The protest. Excuse me, press conference. That's what it was. Press conference. Then later on, some things, you know, things happen. But this initial call was for a press conference. Be very clear on that. Because things can evolve, what's happened, but let's be clear what the dynamic was. In regards to the young brother Dexter Reed, press conference. So we get there. Watch my one more time. So many, okay. So we get there. So there's different people talking about the case of Dexter Reed. Shot murdered by Chicago police. He was, you know, the, you know, background debates, you know, you know, what's your thought on this? You thought, you know, saying if different positions being taken. Shortly after the ending of the press conference, some white guy appeared out of nowhere. He went through just saying all type of slanderous stuff about Dexter Reed. It's, it's out the blue. No one know where he came from. So it became it got a little heated, antagonistic. One young, I seen a couple of young young brothers and sisters. I seen the, the, the police lights when they flashed when the police had to come in. I seen the trauma. I seen these young these young two children. I seen you know saying the impact. One sister had her son, and she was trying to hold him. You could see the you know saying you could see he was going through it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have time to go and ask for his dossier, his file. I didn't have time to ask, is your son a Virgo? I didn't have time to say, or the uh, luxury, what medication? Does, does he, is he on medication? As Chairman Fred Hunter Jr., the Black Panther Party Cubs, in my motherfucking office, the streets, that's my motherfucking office. That's our office. You know, I teach places. I always took a, a Freedom Home Academy. I was, I was at the school teaching, and a young, the, the, the young guy, I'm, I'm going to go back to the story here yesterday, too. Don't let me forget. So we had to, we had to school. So this one young guy, young child, uh, like a black, uh, Ricky Schroeder. This boy, cat, big money. Y'all the whole lick. So he, ooh. So I come, the other children told him, man, hey, chairman, don't play that. You, you, you know what I'm saying? This, man, this ain't the place for that. So the youngster, he like, man, I'll shit. Oh, man, I ain't, I don't care who he is. I get my five thousand dollars shoes on, my two thousand dollar pants on. I don't care who, man. What? So I come in, talk to, him. so I check the body language. So he kept on. I see, I see, young man. Come on, step into my office for a minute. When he walked out and was going into the office, and when I told him to keep walking. His face was priceless. He said, "Keep walking." I said, "Right out the door. Come on." He couldn't, be, he was so, his shoes still sitting there, he's so shocked. Come on out, he just alley right here, to the left, go right down, past his liquor store. Yeah, yeah. He had never, he, his shoes looking, he seen that broken glass and concrete, I said, oh yeah, oh yeah. This, oh yeah, come on tomorrow, yeah, this, see, all this is important, time and location. A lot of people tell me, well, it's on us, we got a chairman, you got to teach the children. You don't you ain't, you ain't me, brother. You don't me, brother. I want you to hear me. It's not just an individual. That climate was necessary for that young child. Huh? I couldn't have told him nothing. In that, you know what I'm saying? I had to snatch that motherfucker, detach that umbilical cord. I had to detach that spoiled motherfucker. You, 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 you hear me? Take him to my motherfucking office. Huh? No, 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 not, not for the, no, no. Certain people, depending, like you come from, it's like, it's like help. Depending on, it, listen, I'm at an event one time, they got baked salmon, it's right there. My damaged ass is still, the food is free. I'm still looking at sharks to go get some greasy fried, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm impacted. Certain places I got, when I was in Africa, the food, you know what I'm saying? I'd have to, I, 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 those, I, the, 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 the contested conditions wasn't there. Like a dude say he was on dope. He said, man, I was, I was sober. I was rehabilitated until I got out that motherfucking dope house. I'm mean, that, that the rehabilitation center. It's not just a question of good intentions. Sir, if you can, you can, you can block a motherfucker in and control the environment. We did what we call contested conditions. When I took him, he didn't have that motherfucking leash on. He didn't have that, he didn't have that safety net. He couldn't holler for mama. You know what I'm saying? The whole, the whole entity, the institution wasn't there. 
Yesterday, back to yesterday. I'm seeing a little brother going through his thing. My natural instinct in me said cuff him. But I've been damaged because I've been in situations where I've seen sisters who, you know what I'm saying, who still try to breastfeed a motherfucker when you're trying to cuff him. They don't, 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 don't no discipline. That colleague. Yeah. It's a field my it could be it could be a pro and it be a con. And you know what I'm saying? And also, not just the colony, in addition, I'm not taking it for granted. They motherfucking had a, a positive man figure in their life. When I met Jill Scott backstage the days for block party, within two seconds, I said, I'm cool. Two seconds. Common was trying to do it. I said, I'm good. I'm a peopleologist. My life depends on it. I didn't have to do like my, the one who's married to her when he came and said, man, it's five generations when a black man in them. I ain't got to do that. As soon as I walk in the prison, I'm going to tell you who the fuck is who. As soon as I walk in there, motherfucker. My, my life depends. And other people's lives depend on it. We have to get to the stage of acknowledging this and saying this is structure. See what I'm saying? See, you hear them turns, the Black Panther Party, Minister of Education, Minister of Defense, them not just those slick sound bites. That's a motherfucking structure. I got a group of motherfuckers in Chicago with my Plan B guys. I guess one motherfucker's Plan C guys. One day we had a protest. The Plan C pops. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck is they doing here, Chairman? I thought I called them. I thought them your guys. You don't call them. When I called them, we threw talking. We threw talking. You know, not, 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 not just me. It could be the, 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 the structure. The structure, see, we follow the plan as opposed to just the man. The structure sets it, the ecosystem with things working. You know what I'm saying? You, you, certain things are reinforced. You know, okay, it's time for that. It's time for that. And see, you, but now we deprived it because of reactionary period. It's We keep on coming, please. Well, it's because it's because of, no, as opposed to coming, it was a revolutionary period. Listen, man, how you think they couldn't work the motherfucking number they pulled when, when the government said let's Blackstone Rangers see so with the Black Panther Party? When Chairman Kirby go meet with Chief Marley. Stone said, we about the people too. Comma, not period. But we about making money. Yeah. Chairman Kirby acknowledged that. They said, what points of unity can we work? You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong. Other communities have motherfucking structure. Special forces, forces that can come out for every mission. You got damn right. The difference between the National Guard and the Navy SEALs. And they say you better than this person. And some of us who, who can train all their fucking life, that's not their cut and that's not their cloth. They have a structure. Our community, keep on with this role. Want to jab and play. See, you got to acknowledge war. You know what I'm saying? Once you get to see one of America's policies is to create chaos and then restore order. I can't, I, I can't call in. they on the phone right now. I can't call them blog talk. they on the phone right now. See, yesterday, I covered down. The sister got the, bus, the brother. I, my, I challenged my natural instinct to cuff him. I said, I hope this ain't real. So we, we look at each other. Me and the sister, like, she said, no, I can't. Don't, don't say it. I cuff him. A discipline. Firmness, love, couple, take a walk. When she calls, say, oh, we, we, we'll get back to you in a minute. I can't work in my office. They tell you that you, you somebody gets shot, you go to the doctor. Say, Hold on, step outside, miss. We, we need you out. We, we got to do our work. We try to see if we got to do our work. You know what I'm saying? That dynamic, it could have went either way. If we played games in a few minutes. That was a that was a revolutionary period in the sixties. Artists had a role, entertainers, football. You wasn't no motherfucking clown where motherfuckers were protesting and fighting to get a motherfucker job on the football field. No, 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 not then. The script was flipped. The athlete was saying, "How can I stand in solidarity with you?" The dog wagged the tail. The tail don't wag the dog. The streets make the music. Music don't make the motherfucking streets. The script is been, like my man say, like even that Kendrick Lamar in the last week, he say money, power, respect. I with the last. I, when I first heard that shit, Puffy the Put, I said, All right, that's not the club I'm cut from. So I'm cut, I didn't come from a club of, me, of money made men. Men made money. The script has been flipped. Even in relationships, all that. Who got the bread? Who got, who got the read? Man. 
no way in hell the blind can lead the blind unless someone plays the dog. Unless someone plays the dog. And actually, you can't get to that the deal. We have a community that's destabilized. You ain't got to, it's, it's so bad in our community, you ain't got to get that far. If you don't even acknowledge that we're trying to go somewhere, you the, the, the question could be like that. You don't even, it don't even come up with a person that's blind or not. In other words, they have a mean with the numbers of how many, I think 3,000 children in Ukraine and the, uh, um, the time period, I just got the time period, I think two or three years, 2,000 2, children murdered. Then they show Palestine. Then the next last seven months, I think 70, I don't get my numbers mixed up. They had the numbers, I mean children murdered. And while the conversation was going, you know what I said? You know, you don't even have the numbers at the Congo or Iraq or, 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 or Haiti. We don't even have an acknowledged war. We came, that's who we go to even say that we plan. We better, man, when the, the Black Panther Party had the free breakfast program, it wasn't even a, man, people, they, them children's graves was not up to par. It wasn't even a discussion. It wasn't down. Palestine right now, 14,350 children killed between October 7th and April 4th. Black mothers don't even get that. We don't even get, they're not even acknowledged. See, we don't, the Black Panther Party say, man, the free, they when them other people try to get them sidetracking, well, let's wait till we have a study. Like, see, we had the, the Black Panther Party Club, we put the community refrigerator out there. We didn't have to, we, we, man, we said, man, people hungry. Well, did you talk to Dr. Um, who about Bam? You got 40, you got degrees in studying health, and yeah, you go holler when you want to. Well, let's debate about the, pyramid, the colors of the pyramid. Some you see them as dark, some see them as light. You go debate with that in the meantime, between time, we got to feed the people. And you know, you know what I'm saying? Once we hide the contradictions, we're gonna politicize them at the same time. And we're gonna hide the contradictions, people gonna be clear, like why what why how would we eat? You know what I'm saying? It's resources here. People never heard the word food desert. You know and, and to be able to bring up to and the, the, the empower the people to feel they that they important enough that they should be eating, not just people take that for granted. Like mother say, I mother take it for well, we pose me. Mother the, before the Panther Party won't say, Well, the police pull up on you. Get your ass to walk. The average police didn't even know the law. Now you got these motherfuckers pulling up on their motherfucking ass. Now they got to go, whoa, penal code? What? The, what the fuck? Man, they, man, it's, it's like some women be like, like what? I ain't know. I, oh, shit. I ain't know. I ain't supposed to shit. My name. Mother, the, the shit. Dude, some guys, they be like, man, what you mean? Well, my personality. I thought I just posed shit, bread a motherfucker out. Have no concept of a relationship with a man and woman. No concept of it. I sympathize for him. Got calls on blog talk chat. Man, I can't. I can't. Uh, you got another, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's uh, call this. What's this call? Uh, what's our, uh, what's we call blog talk? What's blog talk? Um, 929-477. And I want you to show this. This is just phenomenal. Uh, rug. This ain't no painting. Uh, 929-477-3785. I was talking to some other day. He said, Cham, you guys, it's on you. I said, man, I'm getting press one to get in. That's him calling the first three digits, comrade. I'm I must give my callers in queue. My mind, my mind, in many cases, is treated like Marilyn Monroe body. What the fuck did I? That's right. My mind, every time motherfucker see it, motherfucker like, let's fuck it. He should, he should be ready all the time. One time this comrade called me. He say, Chairman, you sleep? I feel guilty. I shouldn't be even be resting. I feel then when I said it to him, he said, Chairman, you it's just that you say, man, my life and, and motherfuckers are be on a pivot. They don't see like Marilyn Monroe be like Joe DiMaggio see her, John Kennedy see her, Bobby Kennedy see her. Every motherfucker like man, she got man. Free them all. Free them all, comrade. Free them all. All right, all right. They like, why her lipstick messed up?
Free Mo, welcome to Free Mo Radio. My man get treated like man of my robot. body. Every time they want, man, they pull up on her, man. What's the, the, the uh, what you call it? What's the, the baseball thing? The, uh, not the, not the, uh, what's the big thing? Uh, Super, not Super Bowl. World Series. World Series. With Joe DiMaggio, you know, his career come. Well, call, get my my right there. Well, Kennedy, he run for, get, man, get my my right there. People be calling me, like, man, I need to know this right now. And cut, chairman, fuck that. I don't want to know about no pro try to struggle. Give me right now. How we going to get free up out of this shit? I see, mom, you sound like me talking to a motherfucking trainer. I'm like, man, I'm ready to get in shape right, right now. Well, I don't get time for no motherfucking st- Fuck some stretching. Fuck some walking. I'm going to get, man, right motherfucking now. I, you know what I'm saying? I get this cold uniform I want to throw on. I want to be good to go right now today. That's one thing for yourself. You start playing with people's lives like that? That's some arrogant ass shit. Then be wondering, why did Marilyn Monroe, what happened? Shit. And she be like, listen, to make up for your man or whatever, she said, go watch a video. Just go, go do a, a video. Watch a picture of a motherfucker. I be telling people, I be telling motherfuckers, go, 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 go watch, go do some basic research. Go to Free Amara, it's on YouTube. Ain't illegal, go, it ain't illegal right now. Right, I mean, right now. Go put that shit down. Get a basic man, man listen. If they then they put in this isolation penitentiary for this shit. Man, the black revolutionary suicide, go check that shit out. Now, if you if that's too if that's going too far for you, go they, oh, hey, they got this piece called Original Gentleman. It, it's different guys like Bishop Don Juan, Ken, uh, uh Ken Abbey, they talking about the impact of the Black Panther Party. So you know what I'm saying? Man, throw a little sauce on that shit. Man. Which one's one little pepper seeds on your politics? They don't enough for you. Go check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, you want the car? I know what you said. You want the green juice, lava lamp, bean bag, incense, but you want to, you, oh, you, you really not ask the question. You want me that we all gonna be on the same thing. And one day we're gonna walk out. I see my fault. You looking for utopia. I got you. I got you. And I ain't, I ain't come from that. It ain't, 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 ain't happening. I can't relate to it. I'm cut from the cloth of Ministry of News said, man, contradictions are the ruling principle of the universe. I don't see no movie about William O'Neill in there, the agent. I don't want to just know about the Black Panthers. I don't want to know about the leather jacket. Respect for the free of all. I don't know about the leather jackets, the berets. I don't want to know all that. I don't want to hear about no informants. I don't want to hear about your mom and dad behind no hard running water in their apartment. I don't want to hear nothing. I want to, so I can live vicariously through you. Man, I don't want to talk. I don't want to hear about you. You know what I'm saying? Your migraines and you know what I'm saying? You the struggles you go. I man, you is get that dress, that white dress, that lipstick, and man, do what it do. Matter of fact. We ain't gotta do no. We ain't, we ain't gotta do no work, man. Tomorrow, just let me vicariously take the put you the poster child, throw you back in the box, and I'm through with you. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Where you going now? Well, I'm going to fund and take care of this other project to support this. You know what I'm saying? Who ain't you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, I'm going to support this here. You know what I'm saying, mate? But you know what I'm saying? When the reality, you know what I'm saying, just to break up. You know what I'm saying? To take this here, but oh. I want to be black when it's beneficial, play panther when it's profitable, and cub when it's comfortable. Come on, man. Now it's making logical sense. I want to take my thinking cap off, and I want you to make it fit for this nonsense. I want I want the politics. I want you to say, yeah, but yeah, but now in this case, if it's my cousin, you know what I'm saying? Hold on to Don't you say that about that. that that's, my, that's my uncle church. So keep that there. Don't you know, well, That's my favorite rapper. Come on, man. Change the definition around. For him, okay, but still give it to me now. You know what I'm saying? They, they, I know, I, 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 but this politics got to go, go for next generation. I'm not thinking about next generation. I want to. I need this for me right now to make up and to suffice because I, I never engaged in no struggle before. So now I can fit this on and say I, I, I just need to fit one time and I'm gonna discard it. Well, this this is a business for generations because we this is a protracted struggle. Well, me, I. I'm not concerned about that. We down the record free on my radio. We have a call in queue.
Chairman Fred said about Larry Robinson. Larry Robinson said, whether it be his mother, his father, whoever it be, he going to fight for the people. He called a contradiction. And you know what I'm saying? And Field Marshal George Jackson said, sooner begun, sooner done. Because it's like, we keep on bullshitting, you're going to release on the wrong person. And not to be the vanguard, you, the messenger, the one who bring the message, you're going to blame it on them. Like they tell you, you, say, you can't shit, you can't fart, you can't belch. You the closest thing to you, you're going to blame it on the man. You're going to explode. What we're trying to tell you a way to listen, acknowledge this. This is and this give a historical context. Say, listen, don't feel bad. Motherfuckers been shitting and farting and belching. This, 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 at this, this carbonated water does this, this pop does this, and give you, gonna give you analysis on what does what and explain to you that a release. Cause then you're gonna be like, I wonder why I'm kicking these niggas' asses and trying to release, make my manhood depend on how many niggas I kill, how many women I fuck. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, as opposed to listen. It's something in you that your manhood, your womanhood, your child is being deprived of you. When you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? man, all this motherfucking shit you have, you, you, uh, this thing, Clyde Davis. Now you're trying to figure out why you got to go back and make up for it. Or at the expense of more motherfuckers, as a, you'll be surprised on what a release it is if motherfuckers just ignore, park, acknowledge, the, see the contradict. See, it's a way of uh, it's a it's a release. It's a cleansing process. You start acknowledging this shit. Oh, this why this happened. This why this why this this is this. Okay, I see why I'm up. Okay, I, no, no, you're not saying that you. This is a machine. Historically, no wonder I didn't know this. I, I, I didn't. Well, black people, they don't have something from black people put in the book. I'm thinking we just don't like. Now I'm seeing that everything you put in some bullshit. And some, matter of fact, I'm proud of myself. Man, I ain't been good. Some, some of my natural instinct told me this is some bullshit. I'm, I'm trying to find our issues in school. It's making sense to me now. Now I'm looking at the other motherfuckers and say, oh, you was up. Now it's making sense to me on who, you know what I'm saying, who can make it, who can, who, was, you know what I'm saying, who didn't make it. Oh, I just, I knew this person wasn't that talented. I'm like, God damn, what's the Craig Mack? All these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's, I mean, is it bad luck on that motherfucker body? As opposed to, wait a minute, let me go back and look at the whole history of this shit. Let me step up my booth and look at the objective world. You said some Carlos in Q? Y'all can Y'all also send word to us saying whatever y'all can support, donate, uh, cash, app, dollar sign, save the Hampton House. Cash dollar have signed Satan Hampton House and a PayPal Chairman Fred Jr. via PayPal. I guess uh, unless unless uh, unless call, call is on. No, my bad. Yeah, call is on. Call you got to call you got to press one in order to be heard. Uh, again, y'all, eleven forty-five a.m. I need everybody I can, y'all, Friday. In front of twenty three thirty seven West Monroe, it's gonna be historical. I need everybody. I need everybody. Else. Yeah, yeah. I don't like y'all. Who's gonna happen? What we mean for? When the white folks told your motherfucking ass get your, get your, stay up at the eclipse at a certain time, you your, your motherfucking ain't spell eclipse. Get your motherfucking ass ready. We get them plastic ass glasses. And the fuck you was told. So you know what I'm saying? I can't go into detail. I just need you eleven forty five by twenty ground zero. Yeah. So t let me know. And give me a heads up when they when they tap in. Also, we have some big events going down. Mother's Day, Father's Day, August 30th. It's a month that we, you know, we tighten up and we I just get that with my chest. I've been going to man. But can you, can you show our viewers this here? Check this, hey, check this out, y'all. This is uh rug art. I met this brother here, man. Now y'all know who know uh, uh that's Chadwick Bozeman. That's Chadwick Bozeman. Man, I'm impressed with this piece. And we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna do, do some stuff in the Hampton House too, man. I don't get like a whole I don't be like the art gallery to hold it. What should give, give us information, brother? Who you are and all uh, uh, uh handles, all that. You know, so let us know who you, who you at. So my name is Kenneth Richardson. I go by Kenneth Fladell. Uh, you can reach me on social media. 
Kenneth Liddell, K-E-N-N-E-T-H-L-E-D-A-L-E-773. Um, that's my Instagram. So what I do is I hand make custom rugs as art pieces. This right here was the salute, the I Am King Chadwick Boseman piece. This is actually a handmade rug that I have framed. And because of the chairman right here, we will actually be getting this piece over to Ryan Coogler because my personal thought was who better to have such a prolific piece of such an incredible individual, such yeah. an incredible black man than Ryan Coogler itself, you know? So all of my pieces, I only do commissions. All of my pieces are handmade by me. So like you said, this isn't a painting. It's actually a rug. Man. And you can feel it, Jamie. Man, I, 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 I feel it literally. Man, you can feel it. I mean, like, like now, now, I'm real talk, y'all. Man, this, hey, this is phenomenal. This is phenomenal, brother. This is phenomenal. So, yeah. This is phenomenal, man. All of my pieces are handmade by myself. There is no team or anyone of that sort. It's me by myself hand making every single one of these pieces. I want y'all to share his man, his Instagram, all that, man. This, this is, man. Like for me, I jumped into this realm a little bit by myself. I'm a retired combat medic. I did three tours in Iraq, one in Afghanistan. And one thing I realized, which isn't a surprise, but evident is when I came back home after all that time, couldn't find a job initially. I'm like, like Trick Diddy said, you could do this, 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 and this. Yeah. You're still a nigga. Yeah. And, and that's what it was for me. So I had to bust my tail to create an education for myself, not only growing up on the south side of Chicago, but I had to teach myself the Queen's English in order for me to transition over into their world. And it was something that I learned more from individuals like Webb Evans, who was the president of UAP, a United American Progress mm -hmm. Association. My grandfather, Ron Pitts, who was one of the first black filmmakers, not just in Chicago, but one of the first black filmmakers, you know, who was also in the midst of doing documentaries and creating that realm, still stayed on the South Side of Chicago because he cared about the reality of our day-to-day, -day, our struggles, our truth. So with my art, I like to bring truth to light and create a whole different dynamic. I could have taught myself how to paint. I could have started drawing. Oh, I decided to create a lane that no one else man, was doing. Man. And something that would bring some type of pride to myself as a black man and as a father. And even if you look at the piece, like this frame itself was actually, it's a wooden frame. I wanted something that was going to be prolific and great and proud to show Chadwick, you know? So this piece right here to me was the embodiment of what a king should be. And know. that to me is who Chasman Boltzmann not only was, but is still to this day. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys are interested, my Instagram, it's Kenneth Liddell 773. Check him out. All of my commissions are handmade. I don't duplicate pieces or anything of that sort. I only create specific pieces for my clients. So anything that you have that I created, it's a one of a kind custom art piece made by wow. myself. So if you're curious, there will not be another one of these being made. Only person will have this piece right here will be Ryan Coogler. He went, hey, he, hey, he, hey, hey, when he's seen that, that's his, that's his man. That's, I learned so much about Chadwick Bowden just through Ryan Coogler, man. Man, he under contested conditions. Y'all I mean, go, man, study, man. All the movies, y'all, man, the story he's battling with. You know what I'm saying? You think about in Hollywood, just the, the everyday, just first of all, being black, period. Then be up in the, the Hollywood, the industry, and man, under health conditions, man, bro, I commend you. That's phenomenal, man. That's Thank phenomenal. You, that's phenomenal, man. Yeah, man. That is, man, it's unique, you know what I'm saying, man. Yeah, that 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 man, Ryan Cooper, we we, we tripping. We, we, we gonna call him before we, we get up, hit him again, until we, we gonna make sure. Um, cause the mom post, we, we gotta get that, 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 that mailing address. But yeah, um, his check is. I met his brother too. Uh, Chad was um brother, man. Check his story out, y'all, man. Come on, 
man, this 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 this, this brother was something else, man. Straight up, I'm telling this to being talented, man. You know, he was he was something else. Yeah, he that the um this the 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 the, the uh, the indirect information I learned, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, from Ryan Cool and others, I go back and look at the movies different now, you know what I'm saying, what he was what he's active in, straight up. So y'all, y'all, go, go check his story out. We ain't got no calls in queue yet. Y'all get me up here running up coffee and coffee and coffee and coffee and cub, love. Oh my god, April 24th, I gotta be in uh, Philadelphia for Mumia Abu Jamal, April 24th. This this Saturday I'm supposed to be in Detroit, speaking, man, uh, speaking. Yeah, but uh, April twenty fourth from me, Abu Jamal, seven, seven, birthday, excuse me, birthday. I'm supposed to be up there, you know. June Father's Day, Stephen Lynn, we see you, man. You know, we hey, we coming that month, we coming that way, man. Come check on Chairman Fred, Father's Day, Mother's Day, we're going on. Uh, uh, I got to check on Sister Dorisha. We working on. Um, the big event on the Forest Reserve of here by Maywood, and we'll do uh, also go visit visit the mothers in Cook County Jail. Yeah, and Cassandra, man, it's a, it's a couple of cases I came in with a brother's name. I, I wanted to shout out. We, I think we we're going a few more brothers' cases. Uh, this, you know, what I'm saying this uh, and, and being intensified right now, so we'll get, get an update you on that. So, I, and we ain't got the callers, huh? Oh, how uh, you call? You can call um, huh? Huh? Caller going, man. They got a oh, hold on. We got a caller right now. Press one, Jeff. We got a caller on here now. All right. Welcome to Freedom Radio. Freedom Radio. Welcome to Freedom Radio. Hey, it's Brother C. Tennessee. You remember the time we talked? You told me uncontested conditions. Well, Mom, well, I've had contested conditions now. Huh. I was staged in my home. By the police. They came in without a search warrant. Huh. Stay huh. me in my right in my walkway when you walk in. Hey, did you say did you say stay with the set again? Did what? Say it again? Taser. Oh, taser. taser. Okay, okay, I got you. Taser, taser. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so the by the who? who, who, who? They came into my home. They had set some shit up outside. They huh. had this dog that was in my front yard. This is the real brother C. They talk to brother Hess. They talk to Daphne. They talk to you. They talk to everybody. Yeah, it's been long, long time. Long time since we heard from you, brother C. Okay, yeah, yeah, long time. Yeah. So when this, that brother C. Free them all. You sound you sound a little different. Same one. Okay. The one where you said uh, uh, movement start from the bottom up. Yeah. They don't start from the top down. Yeah. That brother C. The one that saw you outside and got excited. Hey, Chairman. Yeah. The one who drove David Foxnell's sister home. Man, right on, right on. He gas as he got out. Man. So, man, we, okay. Then, yeah, brother C. Okay, now what happened now? You say, you say they tasered that. What happened? They came in my house. Came in my house. I think they shot me with rubber bullets under my chin, in my jaw. Man, it's been crazy. Hmm. I don't want you to hold it for the weekend or whatever it is. When, when did this occur, bro? Like, bro, see? About a month ago. What stage? Well, I mean, I, uh, they, 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 um, we, we, I mean, who should we put the pressure on? Because the mobilization call, put some call ins on. Who should we, you know what I'm saying? What's, what's, what's the move? Huh? My wife left and took my son. My wife left and took my son. Took out the vehicle we bought. Man, the whole shit is fucked up. Oh wow! I've been going. I've been going. I've been trying to be cool to try to talk to people. Mm -hmm. All I say is, "God damn y'all, fuck y'all," to every fucking body. Hmm. And I'm pissed. Hmm. I'm like, now what the fuck I do? Hmm. I ain't do shit. Try to make peace. Y'all laughed at me. I was like, look, we just gotta get y'all to this moment in time. We got to get beyond 2020. That was what I was saying back then. Mm. But now, you know, it's like what it is. Mm. I don't worry about nothing. We reached it. We there. Mm. I'm there. I know y'all revolutionaries. 
I was what I always was, a neutron nerd. Hmm. Nobody ain't nothing. Just trying to speak up for the people, hmm. not knowing how to, not knowing who the vanguard was. Hmm. I thought we was a vanguard. We, man, we got to protect the women and the children. That was me, Brother C from Tennessee, marching with, with you. You came down the one time mm-hmm. when you got your award mm-hmm. for Pops Movement. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't even know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to do at all. So, that, if, 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 are, you, are, you fa- are, you fa- are you facing some charges? How could you, I don't give a damn about that system, man. This shit is so fucked up. They got me this. There was a dog that the neighbor called on the yard, uh, in her yard. The police pulled in my driveway the, the second time they came out. They gave me a ticket for a dog that wasn't mine. Then the police showed up. This Harris dude parked in my driveway. I went outside and said, hey, man, look, I didn't call you. I ain't got nothing to do with that dog. My dog right here. I had a little chain out in front because it was a big, a big pit bull that bit me in my backyard because my dog was in here. So I started keeping my dog in the house. They wrote me a ticket for that shit. Then this motherfucker, Harris, from Chokey Heights, he, he pulled his chains out. And they're like, man, look, I ain't got nothing to do with what the fuck you doing. He grabbed my little chain I had to beat up the little dog. If it came back to, you know, okay, I got a family. I got a wife and a son. Well, shit. But we took the chain, threw it over there, took the chain with him. I was like, don't worry about it. I'll pray about it. You probably turn around before I get back. Nigga pulls out his chains and like, what are you saying? What's that? Oh, this shit. Same motherfucker that came in my house. He was with this white dude. White dude walks in my house. I'm like, man, you got one before in the window. I'm like, you got one? I'm like, the fuck you keep pulling out my keys? I'm like, get my keys. How the fuck you get my keys? Comes in my house, tases me. He tased me for a plan. It was a long ass case the first time. You ready to submit? Fuck you. And start doing it again. I said, Dee. And I said, you know what? I remember. If I ever get tased, I want you to relax and see if you, you can relax because I was trying to get to one because he was in my house. I relaxed my arms. We fell to the ground. I pulled the little taser. I still got the taser wire in front of my house. I pulled the little taser wire out my, out my side, put it on his hand. Then the other motherfucker, Harris, and before that, when I was standing up, I think they shot me with a rubber bullet in my chest. And I know the motherfucker, this white dude, he, he shot me under my, right here in my jaw. He had a little bush like thing up under here. And he ended up under my chin. It's like, man, I know you're saying you don't want to be subjective. But I'm like, what the fuck do I do? I can't even call people. They didn't take my fucking license, my, my IDs, my, my credit card, all that shit called. Like, can you can you give us some Can you give us some can you give us some um I mean some, some people we, 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 you know uh further expose this? I mean, some uh, what, what department they in, what capacity they work. We can, you know, so we can we call, you know, we can put out a call, you know, do some call ins at least down there. Chicago Heights Police Department. And this it was uh, one dude was Jay William. He came out the time, he didn't do nothing to me. He was like, he was on the ambulance when they put me on the ambulance. After they did all that shit, then they put me on a little stretcher. Put me on the ambulance. He comes out there, and then the lady cop that was on the first call, not the first, the second call, but a little dog. He was all over a fucking dog that wasn't mine because the dog stayed in my fucking front yard. They just kept coming back. They've been breaking gates around there so dogs could get in and out and do whatever the fuck. They just broke my gate. It's like. Well, keep somebody on point down in the community with you, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 uh... And you, are, you, are you on you know, on Instagram? You, can you text that t- text or, 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 or post it? Who people should call? I ain't on shit. I ain't been on the internet in how many years? Mm. I ain't been on the internet since like two thousand and I want to say around twenty one when I got off when I moved here back to Illinois. Oh, so it's like, like I don't do shit. All I've been doing, I was trying to start my little vision. Start, I mean, business. Start getting a vision. Start a business. That was what they were saying. With the movies, I was like, okay, that's what I do. 
Come here, honest business. This is correct. This is correct. And tell us. Talk me. Just help out when you can. Mm -hmm. So my little business, I help this dude around the block. Hey man, dude had a, a wife, or you know, a lady and, and a baby. I tried to help them out a little bit. Went over there and tried to spread his grass with help. You know who he is. It's like, man, I don't even know what to do this time. Because all I can do is say, fuck it. Fuck it all. On the wheel. Mm -hmm. Like, man, it's over. You did. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck it. It's over. <laughs> We gonna um. I don't even I don't even know what to say. Have you ever seen me not saying something? No, is it? Real quick. Let me get a big part plug. Start the new conversation. Let me see. Uh, well, I can break it down. And I'm so goddamn pissed, man. Yeah. My son ain't here. My son that was there with me when I kissed your mother's feet in 2017. Yeah, that one. My son. Like, man, it's cool. Oh, it's going to be cool, baby. <laughs> Read me. Keep us posted. Have, see, see if you got somebody that can at least uh, post up, uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the information who should people should call the, the, the related, you know, send it, uh, get word, uh, uh, get, uh, get, get word out to the people what's going on down there. Which this, that, that, this, that happened here down in Tennessee. I don't even have my own telephone. These motherfuckers, I don't have my phone. This is a phone that my uh, allegedly, allegedly my sister uh, gave me or some shit. That's the iPhone that I had. The last time I called in, no, not the last time, because you was always complaining about me changing numbers. I'm Pope. I'm still Pope. I still ain't got, I ain't killed up me with 23 fucking dollars. I've been living off $23 for a fucking month. And a little $40 I had in my pocket. Oh, no, 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 we're, not, we're not complaining about you uh, different phone numbers. There's no complaints on that, brother. Yeah, I don't have my own phone number. This is the number that they gave me, though. I don't know who gave me this fucking phone. Mm. Man, this shit is so fucked up. Okay, this is good. I mean, Chairman, look, man. I wish I could say something. Just, man, this, um, it's kind of a little bullshit. Mm -hmm. But it's real as hell. Them tasers are real as hell. Them rubber bullets, I guess. Because I'm still standing there. What's the count? What's the, what's the, what, what, so we can call in and, and check, you know, keep up on, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. All of you, um, going to put your number directly. My son not being here is real as hell. Mm hmm It's like, man, I'm sick of this shit, man. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of it. So I'm like, fuck it. The 13th Amendment to the Constitution legalized slavery in 1865 in America that goddamn, like, Jeremiah Wright said. Grandma says, uh, uh, "Okay, you as well, brother. Keep, keep. Your, father, your honorable father, your honorable mother, your honorable self. Thank you, brother. Man, one more thing. I do want to see your documentary. I know it's down crazy as hell, but it's like, man, we don't know, man. I was when I, when I spoke with the honorable, the honorable, the honorable land ground. I was like, man, my generation, me in suburban Hazelcrest." I'm at 226 East 132nd Street. Y'all are a bunch of junior pooks. I'm the real pookie. It's like, man, 150 in Aberdeen. 
I know it's a battle to get the look at the box like a boxer. You sometimes you step in the corner, get a shot of water, take a breather, man. You live that regular free on radio. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, that corner, get good corner, get a shot of water, man. You know, just take a breather because it's, it's a constant battle. You know what I'm saying? In, in, the, in the battle, you have to, the, the, the referee in there, but the, 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 the fight, the fight be fixed. I looked at it. I don't even watch. Um, I ain't gonna quote that show because people might get they're, they're a fan of the show. So I ain't gonna get some bad knowledge. I ain't gonna use that, that show for example. But yeah, just it, yeah. Uh, I mean, you you you're, you're paying. Step step in the corner, get a shot of water, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, again, keep us you know saying posted. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yeah, La- yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right on. We live direct on free more radio. I think we're down to the last last okay, uh get get, get, get a call in quick because about uh, that thing that cut us in a few minutes. Another call in queue. Okay, well we about to again, y'all make sure I tap in our brother. I'm um I think the uh the uh Detroit. This uh, thing this Saturday, I'll keep y'all posted on the upcoming uh, moves. I just do like um, releasing uh, 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 political expression myself earlier. Um, appreciate y'all tapping in. Keep posted, put the word out the work we're doing. You know what I'm saying? It's a protracted struggle. Keep y'all posted. We got a couple of major, major events coming up. Tune in, tap in with us again, same time, same station. Uh, call the uh, 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 929 477 3785 and press one to be heard. Man, this is a power. I'm gonna this piece here, man. Oh, Lee, I'm gonna call my man on FaceTime. Let Ryan see this again. So, we, uh, you make sure we get that address to send this to. I know he might have said to me, but I had my phone. I just I'm, 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 I'm let them say this for everybody. Bear with y'all. I'm still getting my bearings back because y'all know my phone, all my contacts were gone. So. I'm still in the process of together contacts on that back. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm beginning. People say, "Man, you ain't get back to me." You know what I'm saying? I said, "Man, man, a yeah, family member called me yesterday. Man, he, uh, he locked up. He, man, you he didn't answer the phone." I said, "Listen, man, I'm still trying to catch up with so many phone calls. You know what I'm saying? So don't charge it to the heart. Don't charge it to the heart." Yeah. Yeah, I nailed here. Okay, right on. Bring them all right on. All best to you. Yes, indeed. All right, y'all. Hey, it's, uh, it's, it's another for the history books, y'all. Um, what's my man? Uh, Beats. We got a piece. Um, uh, Hood hierarchy. Check that out. Beats. Hood hierarchy. And also check out uh, um, uh, the original gentleman, Mr. Rick. Check, check it out. I got to subscribe to it myself. Um, Mary Ellen Blair. Right back at you. Yes, indeed. Hello, hello, hello you, you as well. Y'all keep your heads up, eyes up, fish places up, man. Good to see y'all. You know what I'm saying? What we got? What we got on the soundtrack of the sound black to take us to take us out. Let's ride that on. Long live I appreciate you coming in, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y